windows are in place. Alright, so the game's going to start. The last time we uh, got going here, I was in the process of uh, researching living metal. 52 months remaining. Just uh, want to make sure there isn't anything else that I could be going for. Nothing else too fascinating. Sure, I could go cruisers, but uh, for all intents and purposes, that's going to take 58. So this is only going to take 52. <laughs> Ah, well, for me, just a tidbit for me, guys, um, I've got, just let me see, surface, I've got some mining stations in the works, and I have hyperlane mapping in the oven right now, and in the oven is just me and Santa's way of saying, uh, text that are currently in progress. So if you hear us say in the oven, that's what we mean. Of course. Of course, of course. I'm going to reset my uh, surveying here because that was uh, not planned. Also, audience, do not be afraid to ask questions either from, you know, Santa's perspective or my perspective. I will do, you know, do my best to be as, you know, descriptive as possible. Even though I know that I fucking suck at describing things. I'll do my best. Alright. So we got this little guy surveying the company. Alright, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let the game kind of resume now. So the research project is done. Go ahead and uh, accept that. Oh, Epsilon and Gamma. I don't remember which ones the Amiibos. Hey, Tacos! Thank you. Up, tacos. Thank you for tuning in. If the background music's too loud, just let me know. I'll try to adjust it. We're playing Utopia right now. My game's kind of hiccuping, but I don't know why. It's not stopping. I mean, it is a little bit slow, but like I said, you know, last time that we were approaching mid-game since we were, in fact, um, kind of oh, yeah, spanning. Oh, right. That's right. Kind of starting to span out now. For those of you who don't know, I am still playing quite crippled. I need to get a uh, a multiple USB port thing. I'm oh. not playing with a mouse. Of course, the the, the lovely mouse uh, handicap. Alright, so I've got 400 here. I've got to uh, see here. I'm going to 16, but that was a lot of pirates. Oh, that's right. I've got this place over here. Guy is finishing the survey in that wing. Exxon. Although you do have high gravity. You do have Batharian, so that's going to be helpful. Alright, so I can upgrade my farms. I didn't realize I had farm level 2. Um, but I think I'm just going to upgrade my mining networks because that will use up my stuff. At the same time, I've got destroyers that I'm in the process of building. So let me check all of my uh, spaceports, which I do have destroyer assembly yards, so that's going to take a chunk of my cash. Oh, sorry, minerals. I mean, that is technically cash, I guess, but... 
Vita, Winter, Johanheim, which I believe has a beast, and Nexon. There we go. So I need to do spaceport stuff. That's right. Go to Jonheim here because yeah, Titanic beasts. Do four point seven. Okay. Reading lemons. Got a also, guys, let us know if we're fading in and out because that's happening quite a bit on my on my end. Well, I mean, Discord will do that. I mean, while we're streaming, unfortunately. Um, but I know I I get quieter when I start thinking to myself and. I keep forgetting, as uh, as a streamer, we should be talking and thinking aloud. Yes, yes. I do agree with that. Um, why don't you recap, you know, recap what's going on with your civilization without giving away too much. Oh, I, I'm more excited about trying to get to you. I mean, what, I think my science ship here, I've got one, two, three, four jumps. Um, and then that, if I remember based on your initial, um, description of being south of the core here, um, means I'm probably only another handful of jumps away, so, just to give me kind of a location, um, if you remember seeing any of the following systems, uh, Trimus, T-R-I-M-U-S, Impal, yeah. Yeah, you're actually really close. You're actually really close. Yeah, so that's that's right here, guys. So if I if I do my math right, that's that's approximately three jumps away. You are correct. All right. And like I said before, guys, I have two holy worlds that are like right next to me. That I wish I could take, but we have fall. I'm surrounded. Just kind of paint you a picture. I'm surrounded by a bunch of fallen empires, which actually kind of scares me. Because if like all the AI are up next to me and all the fallen empires are next to him, he's gonna be like prime target for war in heaven late game. Like, cause he'd be the playground. Yes, I would. I also have 20% border range in the of it, so that's something I can also tell you guys is that my empire is about to get slightly bigger. Slightly. 20% is a little bit more than slightly, though. Uh, it might be enough to get me another system. Like I said, m my um empire area is like set in like a less than favorable position. But I just got really, really lucky with all these, like, scattered planets, like, with all, all this planet spread. I think it's great. Well, thank you for tuning in, Assault. Um, this is Stellaris. I have both the Leviathan's DLC and the Utopia DLC. The official version is 1.62 right now. have what can I do uh, I'll let my science ship scan all those systems first before I worry about anything you know what I'm wondering should I make uh, I think that should be a rally point so I'm gonna go ahead and make winter a rally point I should make rally points, but I don't fuck with them. There we go. Just wasn't looking at it here. I've got five clone armies on Polaris. 
Um, uh, put five more, but I'm gonna go to winter here. I would much rather get the military academy. But I'm a pacifist, so I don't know if I'll ever get that tech. I do want to build up a little bit of a, a backbone here. So another empire right here. Which can be clearly seen by the way this border is. <laughs> System survey complete. System survey complete. that until I discover. That's right. I need to, awesome. I really need to build up my fleet more, but that's why I'm doing destroyers, because destroyer assembly yards, they're going to net, net me a 10% a discount on destroyers. And, you know, when my destroyers are 298, you know, that additional 29 might help. Mine is always, you know, mine is the question of whether or not I should build up my fleet to take out all some of these neighboring pirates so I can get a couple more systems, or if I should just save up my fleet. Well, see, I, this guy is a friend of mine, but he has a fleet power of 1.2, so I don't match that. But the game, and this is why this game, it can really lead you into kind of... A misleading stance because it says my fleet power is equivalent but technically I only have about 780 which is in my opinion not at all equivalent to 1.2k you got you got you ah, damn Tucker's just you're throwing more food at ya. Oh, thank you, tacos. Nom, nom. Let's check what out what is happening. Oh, oh, oh! Somehow, some way, I see your systems. Bestial era, Capella, Rathier. Why I can see those systems, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it, it could be the fact that the sensor link with the active sensor thing might be showing something. But I don't have any ships down there, so I don't know why it's just suddenly showing me the fog of war there. Never know. The game does appear to be chugging a bit here. Like I said, it, it is a little raspy. More engineering? Like, I don't... More engineering, like... Why is engineering, like, everywhere near me? I mean, yes, I'm a natural engineer, but... Wow. System survey complete. Just hope I can get to it in time. Shit. It is taking the longest time for from relationships to even like I assigned. I felt like I assigned them like decades ago. Yeah, I mean, this is 
probably going to be one of the slower sessions, it feels like, unfortunately. But, I mean, game will do that, unfortunately. Right. So they're finally, my construction ships are finally doing their thing. My science ship in Yesom, just trying to kind of scan stuff. Nine more months on uplift. I don't know if I'll be using it much, but. Gotcha. I'm just trying to wait for my resources to build up, honestly, guys. I'm making plus 16 energy and plus 48 minerals. Man, you're making more minerals than I am, but I am making plus 25 energy and 34 minerals. You're not that far, though. No. If only I could find a trade enclave. Not you and me both. Shit. The oh, I can there it is. Z Zora Corp. Better. Zora Corp. Let me trade for minerals. Give me... Sure, I guess I'll do it in increments of 500, because I really don't want to go below 3,000, because my factions do not like me to be broke. That's another thing I can do. I can check my world to see if they're starving. That one's... Need to be able to build you to Spaceport 3. Um, or do I save them? Um... Yonenheim... Is not far from there. So, Yonenheim, you... You deserve Spaceport Level 2. And then Nexon, you need a spaceport, so we go projectiles for you. So my trade just got me to upgrade a little bit more here. Gotcha. <sighs> I have my spaceport level 5 in the oven right now, but it's going to take me fucking 120 months. If I did Spaceport 5, I have 45 months, but I'm doing Live in Metal right now, which is going to take me 42. Dude, I still haven't done Living Metal. I don't think I'm going to go in the Living Metal direction, so it'll be interesting. I do got to check my diplomatic relations. Right, the Zach Plot Corporate Alliance fucking hates my goddamn guts. Got it. Alright, here. It's waiting for minerals. Kind of all we're doing at this point. Uh, 
this. And I don't think it'll take me long to build up to 1.2k, but this guy's got nine destroyers. My force has four destroyers. Although I will say, with AI, they do constantly have troop transports in space, and I, I hold off on that because I don't want them destroyed. So I typically leave them on the surface until I'm ready to move them. Construction complete. Construction complete. I do have so much energy left. I could build more stations, but I've also been holding off because that's a 17 Arctic. Okay. Do why I'm not building it there? Alpine, I don't don't need the Alpine right now. Ooh, Unity time. Ship cost and building cost. That would be great. Or to go colonies. I go. I go ship cost. Let's reduce my ship cost even more. So I sell it two ninety eight. Is now to 28 and that is also taking into consideration of the 10% here just see here saving almost 20 millimoles on the uh, Corvette oh, building it. too Fucking invading There's... a hostile fleet. Oh! I see you. I see you. Who? I got this. Who do you see? Fucking... God in system hopefully that should should not be too much of a problem I gotta secure it though all right so now that destroyer assembly yard is built I'm gonna go ahead I uh, need to wait another month Great. Build a destroyer. So I like to do it in pairs. You know, I'll just have to wait a month. I'm not ready to defend you yet. already have a non-aggression pact. Portal attitude distance apparently is the effect there. Oh shit. 
people are superior. Superior in power, but system survey complete. System survey. This a one way thing? Can I? Upgrading my ships, guys. Alright, here. Like, can I give you energy? Will you take energy? Will not. Guess I will try to rub you with mineral. Okay, that worked. You know, when 50 minerals gets you quite a bit of uh, happiness with somebody. <laughs> Worth yeah. it. Enlightened pacifist. Are reviewing. You can review at any given time right now. Alright. Time to see if I can at least keep us in sync. Alright, that's a, a little bit better here, I hope. Yeah, it's actually moving now. a little slower than normal, but I'll take some functionality over it. <laughs> God. Yeah, you have a 1.5k fleet too. Natalius Squadron? Okay. So yeah, everyone around me is pretty damn strong. So I definitely need to focus on my military for a defensive force. have a small defensive force oh my gosh what the hell this guy has 12 4 16 18 destroyers ah he's hyper lane Missiles, disruptors. Okay, he's all he's going all disruptors. That's not always a good thing. Construction complete. All right. System survey complete. So, how was your day today, Santa? Not too bad. Yours? Nah, I fucking survived, damn it. I could say the same thing. There was a couple of times I thought I wasn't going to be able to breathe. Um, I survived the rain, so. You know, that thunderstorm, I was glad it was over by the time I left the house. <laughs> it was raining sideways where I work. Probably gonna regret this, but I'm getting impatient. A civilization encountered. Okay. Alright, let's see here. I 
do I want minerals but food is kind of important so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a farm yes I'll suppress the mineral for it um, oh yes and you give me a bonus to that that's fine situation log updated the Tau aliens are you in Coldex? Am I in Coldex? Um, I'm trying to find where that is. Uh, right side of the map. I mean, have you sent your science ships up far? No, not very far. That is a red. I'm not seeing Coldex anywhere. I don't think your color is red, so yeah, it's definitely not you. And by color, I mean like your primary color for your nation. Got you. Hmm. Volcanoes? I don't think I have. If I have volcanoes on my. Okay, there's volcanoes on my Arctic worlds. Okay. <laughs> okay. Volcanoes on your Arctic worlds. I think I'm gonna go border range first, though. My turn for the uh, border range tech. That does mean that there may be a civilization browsing around that uh, you don't know about. That I have to go through. Alright. Damn. I'm still determined to find you. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah. Seeing everyone at 1.5 is really worrying me, because I definitely want... Um... Where the hell are you going? Me? No, this guy. I'm going to Inthar. Warp 2. Don't tell me that you have... Um... Arid? That's tropical. Ocean, tropical. Okay. I don't think I have to worry about this colony ship then. Unless somehow he can colonize wet planets now. Where are you going? You are warping to Inthar now, but okay, you're colonizing you you mech. Oh yeah, okay. Tropical preference. Okay. Gonna be right on my borders. That's great. Um, at least I already surveyed what's there. This is definitely going to be an interesting border situation. Um, I mean, he's already got planets here. In fact, they had to warp all the way around like that. But this Frontier Outpost, I think, is helping me. It'll help me. I might be able to pop this in. I don't know. It would be nice if I could, because it's uh, a five research planet. Alright. I mean, I am getting border range in 20 months, so it might, you know, pop in with that. Because that, that, that could be 20%. But that's also focusing primarily on that frontier outpost. This will probably flush out, which will give me at least that research and that research. Border range might actually help me quite a bit. I have a lot of systems edging. This cruiser is tier two lasers.
System survey complete. System survey complete. Please, but. Alright, one of my uh, clan tiers is selected. I just wish research agreement stacked, you know, 25% plus a 25% would be 50%. That would be really, really nicely fast. But I understand why they didn't, because that would just definitely really make research go quickly. <laughs> Come on. I need but to make it to Akalim. If I can clear out this system, that will be a lot of um, research. Just in the uh, pirate uh, that I could handle. That's right, if I get if the 20% pops this 8 engineering in, holy crap, I'll be uh, happy about that. Sadly, the border range is going to take 18 months. The living metal will be done in 30 months. It'll probably take me 10 months to get my con my construction ship all the way over there for it to actually matter. Burp wind down. Man, I hope that's not a fucking holy world. I really do. I hope that's not a fucking holy world. I'm gonna be surveying the system while I have a chance. Okay. Construction complete. Oh, that's right, guys. Let me see if I can correct the displays here. Just got uh, really pink, so let me go ahead and correct that. Not pink, but orange. There we go. Right, you have psionic theory. Research complete. Bastion Star Council. Director General Feathers. Okay. <laughs> General Feathers. Director General Feathers of Ivory. What kind of name is Feathers of Ivory? I but love it. I love it anyway. <laughs> Alright, well... Um, xenophile materialist? Yeah, cooperation will benefit us. Hopefully you won't hate my guts. Xenophile plus tan. Materialist tan. You don't hate my yes, guts. Research. UVs or advanced shields? Ah. Uh, I feel like. Did I. I don't think I. Did I. I I started out as missiles. Why do I have. You know, but. Getting lasers over. Mm. Oh shit! That's gonna I take didn't way even too. know that. We'll go ahead and do tier three lasers. 